Hello and welcome to this Leap video tutorial on the Documents section of the Leap Admin site. In this video, we'll be looking at the three different pages underneath the Documents section here on the left, Contracts, Proposals, and Custom Documents, and the different functions on these pages. To start, I'll stay on the Contracts page, and upon selecting my office here from the first filter, Select Offices, and then selecting the states applicable to my different documents, in most cases, you'll just be hitting Select All, though sometimes you may have documents that are specific to certain states or areas. Once I've done that, it's going to display all the documents currently living in this office and these states. For each of these documents, if I hover over them, I'll see several different icons available to me. The first one being Edit, that'll open it up in the editor, which we'll look at shortly. The second, Copy. So if we wanted to make a copy of a document, keep the original, but then maybe make some changes to another, we could do it that way. Delete document to remove it, as well as publish the document so other Leap customers can review it. When I hover over the document and tap on the edit document icon, I'll be brought into the editor here. It'll default to the PDF view, which is what the customer would see, but we can also take a look at the app view. This is the view that the rep will see before presenting the customer with the final contract or document, whichever they may be looking at. We can see both side by side with the both button here at the top. Typically, you'll be using the PDF view most of the time for editing, though some situations may call for the app or both. If I go over here to the left and click on File, I'll be able to save, save as new. If I wanted to make a copy of it, this is another way to do that. Category and name is how the different documents are grouped on the iPad. So if I had a category called roofing or a category called windows, I could put all of those same documents in the same kind of bucket or area. The name of the document living here, which you can click to edit very easily. The included states and offices, which as I said before, for included states, most of the time you'll just be selecting all, though there may be some situations where you need to specify. The way allow multiple works is if you wanted to be able to tap on this document and add it multiple times. Maybe you were putting in information in different ways, you might allow multiple. Down here is a thumbnail of the icon. This is mostly just for use of your reps, so it's very easy for them to identify the document. And by clicking on this icon, I could upload a new one if I need to. Finally, the app section in which it lives. It'll live in either contracts, proposals, or custom documents, which we'll get to later. The next area to look at is the page. The page size and type setup. The watermark, if you decide to have a watermark image behind everything, you can upload that here. Photos per page, if you do have any photos that are being added, as well as the margins. On the left here, this gray arrow will bring out your document tree. This will show you every field that currently lives in your contract or document. So for example, if I click into this section and I click on the word roofing here, it's going to highlight in blue roofing, showing me that this section relates to these lines here. And if I were to click on, say, shingle color, it'll do the same thing again, highlighting what field I currently have selected. If I click the red X, I'll remove that item. On the far right, the blue arrow is to add new items. And there are a couple different ways to do it. You don't just have to do it through the cell tool drawer, but the easiest way is to simply go Find first what section you're in, I'm in body. So I'll grab a line item and I will just drag it right into the form and release. Alternatively, you can right click on a field and get a couple options as well. Many times you may find it easier that you have a field set up the way you want and want to duplicate it multiple times. So you may just end up right clicking, say copy, right click and paste above or below. And now we've created a duplicate. Anytime you see text on a contract or document, you can double click on it to edit that text. It'll prop up a little editor and you can expand it so that it is easier to see and work in. Simply click outside of it and the change will be made. Once you've made your changes, you can go back to file and just tap save right here.
As far as formatting for text goes, it does matter which of these two sides, whether it be the title on the left or the value on the right that you click on. And you can see that right here, these two buttons shift back and forth. This is how you decide what color would show up on what side in example. So if I wanted the title on the left to be black, but I wanted the value of whatever is shown to be right, say a price or a discount in savings, I could either click on no, click value here, and then go to this color picker, double click very quickly, click outside of it, and now this text will display in red. Same with fonts, as well as text size right here, bold and underline. The same way I copied and pasted my ice and water shield line, I can copy entire sections as well. So let's say along with this terms and conditions, I wanted to also have a section for my notice of cancellation. I could right click right on this field and say copy, right click on it and say paste below, and I get an almost identical field to what I had before. I could double click on terms and conditions here, put in notice of cancellation or whatever I need to, and then go ahead and just save the document. The proposal section functions almost identically to how the contract section will function. After selecting my filter for the office and my filter for my states, I'll see the documents available. And again, functionality remains largely the same. In the top right of both pages is a restore deleted version button that can take you back to a previous version of a contract you may have overwritten. The add new button will give you a from scratch option, a leap template, which are templates our team has provided, as well as public templates that you may pull from other companies. Finally, the custom documents section here is if you wanted to set up another section altogether similar to contracts and proposals. So this section would have its own name on the iPad. In this instance, I have one called Customer Satisfaction Survey, so I may put all my surveys within this section. I'll give it my own personal icon that'll show on the iPad, and I'll say use this icon. I could delete doc type if I needed to, but I'm gonna go ahead and save this first. And before I go to manage templates, I can also add a new doc type. So let's say I had another section that I wanted to add uh, with other documents that aren't even relevant to these, I may add a new doc type there. When I click on manage templates, I'll see a page very similar to how proposals and contracts worked prior. I simply select my office and my states of the documents I wanna see, and it would show those documents in this section. Currently, I don't have one, so I may just tap add new from scratch. I'll go to file. I'll call this my satisfaction survey. Press save. And now when I return to that section and hit manage templates, I should see that survey here. If you ever need assistance with these pages, please remember in the bottom right hand corner is a little chat bubble that can get you connected with our chat team. And thank you for watching.